¡Bienvenido a Chile Tal Tal! And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. It's already eight o'clock, but we are still sleeping. Listen how nice and quiet it is. Can't hear anything. That's the sound of the Atacama Desert. Time for some coffee. Thank you, my love. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 293 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. And we had a beautiful, peaceful, quiet camp last night here in the middle of the Atacama Desert. It was just amazing. Yeah, look around us. It is absolutely incredible here. Nothing, no plants, no animals. It's super cloudy everywhere actually, so it looks like it's going to rain, but it never rains here. It's literally the driest place in the world. And today we're going to be heading deeper into this beautiful desert. So let me show you guys where we're headed. So we are here just outside of the Parque Nacional Panda Azucar. And today we're going to be riding our last ride of this leg, 180 miles north to reach Antofagasta. Yeah, I'm super excited because it's going to be a beautiful ride today and I'm also really happy that we reach our goal to go in four days to Antofagasta. So we still have to pack up everything and we still have a long way to go. So better hit the road, let's go. Can you believe it? It's now 100% blue skies around. Whoa, the sun just burned away everything. Whew. So we named our drones now and this one, the Mavic Mini is called Pinky and our Mavic Pro is called The Brain. Love it. You can just spend probably a week, two weeks, a month, I don't know exactly, around this area here. Just take all the little dirt tracks around. Yeah, I want to just ride over there. I want to ride over <laughs> there. I want to ride over there. Wow. Yes, you just oh. have to make sure that you take enough water with you. <laughs> no point waiting for rain. Yeah, what an area, hey? I just love the colors around. Or like the one color. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful here. Wow, and in the night the sky was so bright, full of stars. I could really nicely see the Milky Way. 
at different star signs. Oh, it's cool. It's actually a very, very popular place for stargazing and they even have major, major observatories in the Atacama Desert. So yeah, it's really the perfect place to see the night sky. And this place is so dry that they even use the Atacama Desert to practice their Mars rover missions. Cool. If there was ever a Martian landscape on Earth, it would be this desert right here. And they tested some riverbeds here, uh, some scientists. They found that there had been no sign of rain for at least 150,000 years. And since they started recording uh, the weather, there have been some areas in this desert that have never received rain. It's so unbelievable. So, I mean, it really is the world's driest desert and it really earns that title. Even the wetter parts of the desert, we're talking like one mil of rain a year. It's a dry place. <laughs> so we just come back on the route of five highway and uh, we've got about 180 miles now to reach Antofagasta. We do have one stop before we get there, which is to visit the Mano del Desierto, which is the hand of the desert. Now we've seen quite a lot of hands so far on this journey, but I think this one is gonna be the coolest hand that we'll have seen so far. I can't wait, woo! Look at this, guys. We're just stopping at this little rest area because on the bins, they have some vultures. Look at these guys! Wow! Oh, no. look, look, look. Ooh. Small movements, small movements, yeah. Okay, Turn. okay, okay. Wait, I stop here, I stop here. Yeah. Whoa! Mm. Very cool. How can they live here, you know? What are they eating? It's like the human rubbish is the only way that any animal can survive here. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Whoa, look, look, look. <laughs> There you go, a little bit of Atacama wildlife. <laughs> bye bye guys, have a good life. <laughs> Look at this petrol station. This is like the only one in, in like a hundred miles. There isn't anything here. It's just like two sides of the pumps. There's no shop around us. It's just the same desert. Espanol very bad. Alemania? Oh. Inglaterra? Ah, Inglaterra. Yeah. Que país? Haiti. Haiti. Haitian. Where? Oh, Haiti. Haiti. Oh, nice. Habla creole. Creole, okay. Creole. Si, pero en peu français también. Bonjour, je m'appelle Aviva. 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 Elle est mime, elle est mime en français. Oh, oh, merci. merci. Ah, ok. Allemagne, danke schön. Danke schön. Danke schön. Yes. <laughs> Bienvenido <laughs> Chile Tal Tal. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought whilst we were riding through this empty, empty place, I would give you a few little facts about the Atacama Desert. So the desert is 1,000 miles long, or 1,600 kilometers, and it stretches all the way up to Bolivia, and some people argue that even it continues all the way up to Peru, but some people say that that's a different desert. They can't really decide, but it's a very, very long desert. And the dryness of the desert is actually due to the fact that you've got the Andes on one side, and on the other side, the Chilean coastal range. So this creates the special geographical conditions that basically mean that it doesn't rain here. So it's crazy that here, even mountain peaks over 6,000 meters high have no snow on them, because there's literally just no water to make snow. Crazy stuff. But despite the harsh conditions, there is some life that's able to survive in some places. So you have vicunas living here, guanacos, foxes, uh, mice, you've got lizards, grasshoppers, some other insects, and even in some seasons, butterflies. I did see a butterfly yesterday. You did? Yes. A yellow really? butterfly. What are they doing here? <laughs> but something that most people don't realize as well is that penguins live here. I mean, they live on the coast, but they're still residents of the Atacama. The Humboldt penguins. Exactly. Desert penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Desert penguins. 
Yeah, it's a very special place here, definitely. It's basically like a place where we aren't supposed to be, but we can temporarily be here and ride through it. It's just beautiful. Just pulled off the side of the highway to have a little snack. What are you having there? <laughs> Just a spoon of peanut butter. <laughs> we nearly run out of supplies and here are no shops or anything. You can't really buy anything. So now we spoon the peanut butter. And have a look out here. I mean, look at this place. Rocks after rocks after rocks after rocks. It's a big hill over there. It's just crazy here. I mean, you could walk all day in this direction. You'd probably just get over to those hills, you know? Beautiful rocks. Look at this. Coming out from a volcano, this one, because it's all got the bubbles in it. Beautiful. Woo! It's like so big. But there's so many awesome little things to discover out here. Oh, I think I can see it up ahead. El Mano del Desierto, the hand of the desert. Awesome. Wow. Oh, Jesus, look at oh, this. Oh. <laughs> A little bit too confident. And all of a sudden, oh, I think we missed the road actually. The road is. <laughs> that would explain why it turned into <laughs> into that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow, look at that. Yeah, here we go. El Mano del Desierto, the hand of the desert. Ah! Oh, look at this. <laughs> wow. It's bigger than expected. Wow. That's massive. Cool. Look how big that thumb is. Whoa! Nice! Wow! Cool! High five! <laughs> nice! So we decided we're going to have a little ride down one of these side tracks just because they look so inviting. Look at them! Yeah, they look actually in good conditions as well. So yeah. nice. We thought we just doing our own very own off-road training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh god. <laughs> Whee! <Yeah>. <laughs> Up the hill and down the hill. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to go any further. <laughs> It looks really like up and down. Oh my God, you can go all the way up there. Yeah, you can see that people have like gone up the hills here, up the hills here, up the hills here. Ah, if only we had a motocross bike, hey? Yeah. No, two motocross bikes, one each, and we could just race around these hills. Next trip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think about how steep this hill was actually, up to the hand. <laughs> but we've turned the bike around and now we've got to do it back up the other side. Uh oh, a little bit sandy. Whoop, it's okay? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, power up! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! And this bike is so capable! <laughs> Beautiful! Goodbye, hand of the desert! Bye-bye! Please protect us in the desert here! We actually wanted to have our lunch break next to the hand but it's way too windy up there. Oh Jesus, look at this. What is that? Oh <sighs> Some big rocks. Yeah man, it's like crazy windy up there. Crazy windy. 
and it's like we wanted to have noodles and coffee two things that required us to like use our stove and cook up and it's like there's no chance that we'd be able to do it there no chance so we're going to continue a little bit further and then we'll find a parking place that's a little bit less windy where we can have a proper break it literally looks like we've just entered like a mad max town here what is this place look it's a giant penguin yeah yeah i mean it looks really run down here and so industrial and dusty and just trucks here it looks actually like a film set hey yeah it looks like like a post-apocalyptic town yeah. where the world has been incinerated and you're left with just like a desert and some dusty shacks oh look even the palms doesn't they don't like it here oh no the palm trees have died <laughs> oh no oh my god and there's a giant mining facility over here and you can see the whole land on the other side has also been mined and all the buildings are covered in like this white dust yeah. oh my god yeah look at the cars here whoa yeah if you spend too much time here you get covered in dust exactly even the palm trees covered in oh. dust the dead palm wow. yeah i mean no rain hey no rain and a lot of sand and a lot of dust yeah crazy place so should we just stop and have some food then yeah okay at least it's not windy Okay, we were a little bit naughty. We were supposed to cook up our own coffee and instant noodles, but they had these like not burgers. So these vegetarian plant-based burgers that um, you take out the fridge and then they heat up for you with some Red Bull. So Woo! Woo! lunch has been upgraded. Okay, look at that. What do you think? Tastes better than the real burger. That's pretty good. Uh -huh. All right, burger, Red Bull over. It's time to leave this dusty town. So we're only 15 miles out of Antofagasta now. By the way, look at this thing here. I think it's a cement maker. <laughs> we just checked on Airbnb as well and we found a room for about 22 pounds. It was the cheapest room in town and it's literally just a bed in the room. <laughs> Nothing uh, more. Yeah, this town, Antofagasta, is not very cheap. I spoke to one of the locals here and he told me that the prices are sort of inflated because it's a, a mining area around here. There's a lot of money here. And so that sort of inflates the prices of everything. 22 pounds is pretty much the cheapest thing we could find. But it will do, it will do for our editing. It's all happening down here on the coast. Look at this. You got apartment blocks, you got a football field. You have the ocean. <laughs> Ta -da! We have some really cool hills behind me where you can do probably a lot of cool motocross. Wow, what a place, eh? And you can immediately feel the temperature change as well because inland it was 30, 31, 32. And here on the coast, it's down to 25 degrees. So you can tell why everyone wants to live here and not in dust town. So yeah, now we have a little bit of a traffic jam in front of us. It's like uh, 6.2 miles, but it will take us 23 minutes. But anyway, we have ocean view, so I'm not complaining. And there's a massive stadium over there. And look at these multicolored apartment blocks <laughs> or condos as they call it. And here, the palm trees can survive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy. So even here, it never rains. I think even here, yeah. I mean, we're in the Atacama. So even here, despite all this green grass and palm trees, it still doesn't rain here. All of these clouds that we see is just more of that sort of marine fog, as they call it. It's unbelievable. Antofagasta is like smack bang in the middle of the Atacama. Uh -huh. From here, you've got 500 miles of desert north, 500 miles of desert south, uh -huh. <coughs> probably 500 miles of desert inland. So yeah, an absolutely crazy place. But you would not realize it, hey, when you're actually here. 
look at this guy. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Another mass man. Oh! <laughs> no! Whoa! Oh my lord! <laughs> that was scary. Back on the bike! Yeah, we reached our accommodation, um, but we didn't clear with them that uh, we needed parking for the motorcycle. So then we were saying, oh, should we just leave it on the curb on the street in front of the house? But um, one of the guys living at the accommodation basically said to us, no, that's not really a good idea here. Uh, it's a bit dangerous at night for the bike if you're going to leave it right in front of the curb. Yeah, so actually it's really annoying because, yeah, now we have to go right around and try to find a parking. So we found on the map this uh, place, safe parking and car wash. Okay. So we're going to see. Do you do parking, vehicle parking here? Uh, Apacar vehicle or aquí? Yes. Yes? Uh, you speak English? Oh no. <laughs> so so. So so. Para dos, dos noches? Aquí. Who are you? Okay. okay. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's mucho peso. Uh, dos cien cincuenta uh, kilo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Here she is. Bumblebee, safe and sound, inside the safe parking. In the capable hands of Rafael. Yay. Gracias, Rafael. Okay. <laughs> Let's start walking. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Yes, finally. <laughs> And a little bit exhausted. Yeah, that was a really, really hard arrival here to run off and find a parking place for Bumblebee. Yeah, the first time that we haven't actually checked in advance to see if they had parking, we were just like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. And then they tell us, no, it's actually not fine to park out here. Probably not very safe in the night. So at least Bubble Bay is safe now and in the capable hands of Raphael at safe parking. Yeah, seems like a good place. But then as well the computer, because the computer stopped working. Yeah, basically yesterday, suddenly the whole thing shuts down and then doesn't start back up again, oh right God. in the middle of trying to transfer our shots onto it. So we were like, okay, we stopped for today. We can't do anything. So when I got it here, opened it up, tried to turn it on and we had three beeps, which basically means that there's an issue with the RAM. So then you take out the RAM and I'm testing, there's two RAM slots and two RAM sticks. So I'm testing the RAM slots in each one. Oh. And it's super inconclusive and I couldn't really figure out what was going on, but I switched them around a couple of times, took them out, took, put them back in again, and now it booted up again. Yes, that's good. So, however this configuration is, we're just going to leave it because apparently those two RAM sticks in those two RAM slots in that way seems to boot up. So, fingers crossed that's going to continue. But otherwise, the ride was really awesome today. Just epic views around. Riding around the Atacama Desert is just mind-blowing. It's so super beautiful. Yeah, we were finally getting into the real, real desert where nothing grows and it never rains and the landscape was just like really Martian and really just unbelievable. And we're only about halfway into this desert, so I'm super excited to keep going. It's just, I love desert riding. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> so we did at the end 210 miles, which is about 340 kilometers. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friend and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. So if you ever have a problem turning on your computer, just take out the RAM a bunch of times and put it back in again and apparently then it works. <laughs>